Chances are you've never heard of a pangolin, but you're not alone. This cute and curious animal is among the strangest mammals. You're watching the channel Top 10 World, and for today's video, we'll talk about pangolin, the most badass animal you've never heard of. Pangolins are endangered animals, so knowing more about them can help keep them safe. They're pretty interesting creatures that are basically a real-life sand shrew from Pokemon. Pangolins are a scary mammal, known cuddlers, and they're pretty clumsy even if they're just trying to walk. In short, they're downright lovable. So if you're wondering what exactly pangolins are, prepare to be enlightened with some amazing pangolin facts. If you've never seen a pangolin before, you might be shocked if you ever see one. They appear to look like a possum interbred with a pinecone. The pangolin's armor plating makes biting almost impossible. Or like something straight off of a Pokemon card. The fact is their appearance is incredibly unique because they're the only mammal with scales in the world. Armadillos come close, but they're not truly a scaled animal. Pangolins come in eight different species spanning many different countries. Pangolins are warm-blooded mammals found in Africa and parts of Asia. There are eight different species of pangolins, with some preferring to hang out more in trees and others on the ground. Pangolins look like heavily armored yet strangely anxious anteaters. They often walk on their hind legs, holding their big front claws in front of them. Despite the claws, pangolins are gentle, only eating ants and termites. They don't even have teeth. They can be as small as a house cat or as big as a medium-sized dog. One thing they all have in common is that they have hard scales all over their bodies. These scales aren't just for looks, either. The edges of these are razor sharp, and if the animal is bitten or grabbed hastily, the scales can actually cut skin and cause real damage. Unfortunately, this is the only real defense the pangolin has against predators. The thing that really sets pangolins apart is the heavy scales that cover them completely except for their bellies. They're the only animals in the mammal family to have scales. These scales are made of the same kind of substance as our fingernails, except pangolin scales are super strong. When in danger, pangolins will simply roll up into a scaly ball. That armor is hard enough to protect pangolins from lions. Baby pangolins are born with soft scales that begin to harden a few days after being born. The scales are made of keratin, which is the same material that's found in nails and hair. It is a structural protein that is the building block for nearly all of the hard and soft coverings in mammals, reptiles, dinosaurs, and birds, including scales, feathers, beaks, and claws. How a particular animal uses keratin to cover itself depends on what worked best, evolutionarily speaking, for its ancestors. It's not that the pangolin never lost the traits of a reptilian ancestor, Rather, it's that the pangolin had furry ancestors. But over time, that fur turned out to be more useful in defense than in heat regulation. Like anteaters, pangolins use their long, sticky tongues to grab up ants and termites. Pangolins' tongues are literally longer than their entire bodies. They can stick their tongue in any crack or crevice. When scooping up ants, they often get pebbles and dirt, too. But pangolins don't mind. They use the rocks to assist their digestion. And since they have no teeth, they don't need to worry about cracking or chipping a tooth on a rock. The pangolin will use its strong front claws to perforate ant nests and termite mounds. The ants, understandably, don't like that at all. But when they attempt to swarm the pangolin, they find out that pangolins aren't just protected by scales, their ears and nostrils can close up to stop ants from bugging them, and that they even have extra thick eyelids to protect their eyes. Found throughout Asia and Africa, Pangolins can be traced back 66 million years. Their eyes are small, and thus they conserve energy by not spending it on organs they don't need. They aren't blind, but their eyesight is poor. Pangolins are so good at eating that it's estimated that only one pangolin can eat 70 million insects a year. Surprisingly, pangolins have no teeth. They are adapted for eating insects, snuffling around, and lapping up ants and termites with their long tongues. This is actually a matter of convergent evolution. Pangolin ancestors may have had sharp teeth, but finding insects to be delicious and plentiful, they evolved towards efficient bug hunting over many generations. Like skunks, pangolins can make a big stink when they want to. They use this to mark their territories, with the smell acting as a stinky keep-out sign for other pangolins. They can also release the smell when scared to keep predators away. Elles permettent aux pangolins de retourner le sol aride et les rochers pour trouver sa nourriture. Pangolins have a gland near their anus that emits a nasty odor. 
These glands that secrete the strong-smelling substance also activate whenever the pangolin is afraid, much like a skunk. They cannot spray like a skunk, but it's still gross enough to make some predators think twice about taking a bite. Skunks and pangolins are much more closely related than anteaters and pangolins, and unlike other carnivores with sticky anal glands, they both use it to fend off predators. A great distinguishing feature of mammals is that they give birth to live young, and also the females have mammary glands that produce milk to feed the young. Baby pangolins are known to hitch a ride on its mother's tail. Because their tails are so strong and flat, most species carry their young at the base of their tails. This keeps the baby shielded from anything which may harm them on the ground and surrounds them with sharp scales because the baby won't have fully developed their own yet. La colonie pourra peut-être se reformer et rebâtir la fourmilière. When born, pangolins are only about six inches long and their scales are soft and transparent, so they're pretty defenseless. Still, the parent may carry the baby for an extended period even after their child is capable of walking or climbing themselves. However, after two years, mothers abandon their young. As the animals grow up, their soft white scales begin to harden and grow darker. Multiple investigations have revealed that pangolins are traded illegally, despite the practice being banned by the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species in 2016. In fact, they're often considered the world's most trafficked mammal. About 100,000 of them are plucked from the wild annually and sold. Unfortunately, they've been pushed to the brink of extinction by illegal businesses that market the meat and scales as magical and medicinal, and their rarity and price has made them a culinary status symbol in East Asian restaurants. His sensitive nose caught the distinct whiff of large cat scent. This could mean trouble. This high value has created a black market where pangolins are cruelly poached from their natural environments of Africa and Asia to the point that every one of the eight types of pangolin are currently listed as critically endangered. Zoos have so far been unsuccessful keeping them as there is little or no knowledge about this shy and solitary animal. Despite the fact they have all kind of defenses, pangolins are still in trouble. Their natural habitats are shrinking and they're often hunted by humans. Fortunately, people are working to help save pangolins by protecting their habitats and making it illegal to hunt or sell them. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.